Hey guys, Prepper Madness back at you again today. Uh, I decided to uh, to do a short series on uh, on tax systems uh, for, for 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 different uses and my views on uh, on the items that I'm putting in there. Okay, and and maybe uh, I'll, I'll throw in a couple tips here and there. So first things first, we're going to uh, we're going to start with the pack. Okay, so this pack here is uh, is a pack that I use uh, that, that that I use when I go with hunting. All right, it's a very basic pack. Um, this th this is not my day pack where I uh, where, where 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 I just walk out of the house and uh, and and walk down to the creek and and nab a deer or 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 or, or whatever. Okay, this is a pack for when I for when I actually go out. All right, so in uh, post SHTF environment, um, you're gonna uh, you're, you're gonna want to uh, you're gonna want to be able to organize uh, a bit of gear uh, a, a bit a bit of gear for uh, this sort of thing for yourself. Uh, this video is mainly for, uh, for 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 some newer folks. Uh, I've, I've noticed I've gotten a few, uh, quite a few new subscribers. Thank you very much, uh, much appreciated, guys, and uh, that'll encourage me to uh, to to get some more videos done, not just forging and and stuff like that. All right, so on with the show. Here, so what I have right here, I'll get it over to the camera a little bit better for you. Scooch over. What I have right here is a small burl stock uh, hunting pack. All right, so it has. Right here, it's got the it's got the gun sleeve, all right, and little uh, little uh, little compartment here up top, and a sliding compartment right here as well as the main bag, as well as the main bag right here, and of course we flip it around, we've got two little side pouches right here, okay, two little elastic or p pardon me, uh, uh, drawstring style side pouches, okay. There's uh, there's lots of molly on this right on here, uh, right right over here. So so you can strap other things on, um, if, if you wish, right? So there's also another little uh, uh, compartment inside here uh, where you can put your uh, your your water bladder. Um, I don't pack a water bladder in it. That's just me. Okay. You're gonna notice a few things, a few things that are far different. Uh, in my pack than, uh, than a lot of other guys' kind of packs, okay? Um, I'll explain that later. <laughs> Let's get on with this. Okay, so this video is going to be just a little different than normal bug out bag or, or pack system videos. Uh, I, and, and it's going to be a little longer than usual, okay? Because I'm going to fill you in on, on, uh, on how I use certain things and, uh, and, and what my take is on, it is on them, okay? All right. So first off, I have right here my uh, my wool my wool hat. Now the reason I put my wool hat in here is for a couple of things. I like to pack my pardon me reach. I like to pack my uh, mess tin in there. All right. So inside my mess tin, I also have my KFS, and there's a uh, uh, there's a little tiny bit of food in there and some hot chocolate. All right. So what I do is I put this in here, and this uh, this stops it from rattling around, uh, getting scratched, uh, denting, that sort of thing in my pack. Uh, the other use that I have uh, that I have for this hat is for when I'm sleeping. And when we get to the sleep system, you're going to see why. All right, so, so I can I, I can just put it on my head, and and I'm good to go for the night. Keeps me warm, keeps me warm up top here. All right. So we'll put that in. The next thing I'm going to put in is I've got this light. I've got this lightweight. I've got this little lightweight uh, synthetic balaclava. Okay. Um, what I've noticed in a lot of uh, a lot of uh, different bug out bag and, and pack and pack out systems that that guys are talking about, they're they're always going. Well, this is my summer one. This is my winter one, right? So if if if, if you're worried about uh, if you're actually serious about an SHTF uh, 
uh, kind of thing happening, uh, why not pack something that, that, that gets you at least a fighting chance uh, a fighting chance in cold weather as well as as well as summer weather because if it's a prolonged event and you've bugged out someplace out to the wilderness wherever you're going and 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 winter hits and and, and you got no winter gear I mean like you could you, you can die <laughs> okay it's just that simple all right so in this goes okay next thing I've got like I mentioned uh, just in case of freak storms or cold weather Okay, I've got a little pair of uh, of leather wool lined mitts bag down in the basement. I, I use them quite a bit. That's why I bought quite a few, um, and they do last. They they they'll last me a whole winter. You know, grabbing hot uh, hot stuff and you know kicking coals around in the fire with my hands. Yeah, I do all sorts of stupid stuff. All right, next thing that's going in is I got this little bag right here. It's got it's got some food. Uh, very little. You'll, you'll notice I'm not packing a lot of food, right? Um, this is this is for you to go out and get food. This is just in case you have to uh, you have to stay overnight, or or it takes you a little longer to drag your moose in on your travois or your elk. Or I would like to add too that I'm I'm not just spouting that sort of stuff off. I have done it. Okay, I've been there, done that. Um, I've I've hunted all over Western Canada, uh, fished, hiked, camped, all that stuff. Uh, not I'm not an expert, okay. But this is just this this is just the sort of stuff I pack. Right, what else I pack in here is is I've got is I've got two heavy duty, extra large, uh, industrial strength garbage bags. All right. So these things. Uh, these things can be quite useful, especially in the winter time. Um, I don't, uh, I don't like leaving the hide or the head, but on occasion, on occasion, I've had to because I've made some stupid shots, and uh, and have, and have had to go into some plate. You know, I mean, like packing out a 200-pound hide and a and a and, and and like an 80-pound head. You know, just just to bring back the antlers is just, uh, yeah. It, <laughs> I just don't like it, but anyhow, with these bags, uh, I, I I I found uh, no, no a guide showed me this. Uh, I, I I found that if you uh, put a, a thin layer of snow in them, okay, and then put them put them on your travois or whatever system you're going to use to uh, to pull or pack out with, place your place your quarters on place your quarters on them. All right, so then secure your quarters your 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 hind quarters and your front quarters down. And then do the same thing with the other bag right on top, if you can, okay? Or, or you can just put them inside and pack some snow in, and off you go, all right? And, you can, and of course, that's winter time, right? Same, same deal here with these, uh, with these little Ziploc bags. You can, uh, you, can go and, you can go and collect your wild edibles, chuck them in here uh, to keep them, from, uh, keep them from getting dirty or, or you know... <laughs> All, all, all over the inside of your pack. All right. You can also, if if need be, you can collect your water with this, and then uh, do whatever filtration, whatever filtration you're going to do. All right. So in these go. More plastic sheets. Same thing. Covering your game. All right. Some guys like to use the mesh game bags. <coughs> Um, but I found out here with the uh, with the uh, horse flies and mosquitoes and stuff like that, they get right in there and uh, not, not so much the mosquitoes, but more the horse flies and black flies. Uh, I guess you call them deer flies. Deer flies. They get in there and then they lay their eggs and everything gets all maggoty and really, really fast. It happens really quick. Okay, some more bags. All this bag. I carry a lot of baggage. All right. And of course, speaking of insects and the like, uh, I can handle them. I can handle them on my body and on and on the back of my hands. I, um, I, I, I never wear gloves when I'm skinning or, or gutting. It just uh, they just get they just get turned into a, an awful mess, and uh, and you tend to get you tend to get dirt on them, and 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 
and get it in your meat and uh, you know it just it just gets gross but nice little nice little mosquito net uh, mosquito netting put over your head right here I've got a, a stainless steel a stainless steel uh, water bottle okay you're gonna notice that I'm not packing any water filtration devices with me okay in this particular bag I'm not okay it uh, um, ge generally, uh, why I don't is because I, I, I just if, if if I do if I do start running low on water, I'll go collect it, uh, whether it's out of a stream or or, or wherever, I'll boil it, um, I'll boil it, uh, then I'll take the charcoal out of the fire, and a bit of sand from the edge of the lake or the edge of the creek bed, and 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 filter it through. Okay. Next bit of gear, it's a first aid kit. Uh, this particular first aid kit has quite a bit more in it uh, than than this little than these little Trek Three ones. Uh, these ones here, these ones here, you can attach to your belt or hang them on your hang them on your pack, whatever you like with them. They're 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 nice and small. They're good and compact. I do like them. Um, this this one actually goes in my. Uh, in my bigger camp bag or bug out bag if you uh, if you will all right so nice big first aid kit a lot of stuff in it there's even stuff for suturing in here I, I did a little bit of packing I did a little bit of packing into it myself little Gerber this little Gerber bone saw I've had this thing now for quite some time uh, going on about oh yeah it's, yeah, it's good and sharp <laughs> Going on about oh close to four years now, three four years. Um, as you can see, yeah, see there's stains on it and stuff. Yeah, I have used it. Uh, so 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 one side's for cutting bone, the other side's for wood. Uh, I found that both sides work on bone. <laughs> Just saying, I've uh, I've hacked through a few deer carcasses now with this. It does take a little bit of effort, but uh, it's what I like about it. It's nice and compact, right? Um, There she goes back in. Clips up nice and easy. I should mention too about that, about that little saw. Um, what I've seen with with uh, with a few guys that I've went out with and stuff uh, in these Kydex, these Kydex type sheaths, uh, both with knives and uh, and saws and saws like this, is they is they don't clean out the inside of the 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 darn sheath okay and it just gets it's just gross man they pull it out and there's hunks of you know there's there's dried blood on the saw tips and i'm like man you're not cutting into my you know you're you're, you're not cutting into my animal with that buddy no way boil some water clean that thing off so it's really important to keep those sheets clean okay just little just thought i'd mention that all right so that's it for the that's it for this bag for the main part of the bag all right, I think it's mainly for, uh, for 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 people new uh, new to this, and it's also it's also a little something for 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 uh, for for you guys who have who have been into this preparedness thing for quite a while, but haven't really gotten the chance to go out uh, to go out hunting or uh, or anything like that on an extended on an extended journey. Okay, extended journey is two weeks or longer. In my in my opinion, okay. Just saying. All right. Let's move to the front of the bag. Okay. So there's this little there's this little slide compartment right here. Now, what I put in there is I put my I put my knives in. Okay. So you'll see that I have two. Now the reason for that, the reason I got two knives, is because if you've ever if you've ever gotten into uh, into a, 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 a big dirty old moose or a, a big old elk that's uh, been running okay just use your imagination uh, you'll find that you'll dull your knife really quick when you're slicing the belly okay even with a gut hook that's why I went away from the gut hook uh, that's why I went away from the gut hook for for quite some time now these two these two knives here let me show them to you okay I know you're dying to see them there, shiny and sharp and all that. 
these two knives here, uh, this one I use mainly for skinning, okay? They're, 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 they're both the Uncle Henry's. And I'm actually, I'm actually fairly impressed with the steel on them. Uh, we just, we just butchered a, a really old, really old cow about, uh, oh, about two weeks ago now. Processed her all up, whatever. But, but she was all, you know, because cause everything was muddy out and stuff. She was just filthy, just caked in muck on her, on her hide and stuff. It was just, it was just, yeah. And, and there was no water hoses nearby. She was, she was wild. I mean, she was nuts, man. I mean, like, she was coming for us, bang, down. I'm not kidding. Uh, it was, it was really, it was really, it was really weird. Uh, but uh, another thing I like about both these knives is they both got a, they both got a little sharpening stone in them. And, and they do work, okay? They're, they're, they're not an Arkansas uh, 2000 grit fine stone or anything, but they work to keep an edge, okay? Now... The next bit we're going to do is right up here in the top, in the top compartment, all right? But I'm going to put in there is my binoculars. Now, a little thing about binoculars, <laughs> I know it's like, oh, hey, just call them Mr. Tips. No, but <laughs> I do have a little bit of experience with this sort of thing. Um, what, I, uh, what I learned about binoculars and hunting okay is 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 really simple and it was a guide that had pointed this out to me all right so uh mainly what i use these uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to that a little bit in just a sec mainly what i used mainly what i use these for is uh is 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 is, is, is like root scouting okay so I'll, I'll i'll scout out a root as best as i can especially if i can get up high and take a look down um, I'll scout out a root. I'll do a little bit of glassing, you know, just sit for just sit for half an hour in glass at at, at quite a distance, um, glassing your tree lines and, and and all that sort of stuff. But um, as for hunting, um, this guide. Oh, okay, now I'll get to it. I'll, I'll get to the tip now. This guy told me something. Uh, he, he said he never. He never let any of his hunters that he took out with him uh, even bring their binoculars with them because, because they'd be like this, okay, of course the caps would be up, they'd be like this and they go, oh look a deer, and then they remain fixated on the deer and everybody does it, I've done it too, okay, everyone does it, they, they, they remain fixated on the deer, um, even if it's only for, for, for a couple seconds, and they miss their opportunity. All right, so 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 when you're hunting, you're gonna have your and 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 you're looking for deer, you, you know, like you you want to have your rifle at the ready like this kind of deal, right? <laughs> okay, so binos, hmm, I'm up in the air about them. As far as hunting goes, it's a it's 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 a limited it's 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 a limited tool. Okay, and of course we're not talking uh, we're not talking about anything tactical here. All right, I I, uh, I, I don't share any of that with uh, with anyone. Okay, and uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, any of you new people, yes, I, I do have training. I, I was uh, I was an infantry soldier in the Canadian Army. All right, now right here I've got a little headlamp. This one's just a uh, just a little Duracell headlamp. Okay, everything works. Okay, you can see it's got a little red light on it and it's strobes and all that cool stuff, right? Okay, so why I have a headlamp and I'm not packing a flashlight, okay? Because I like to keep both hands free. And a lot of you guys uh, um, experienced or, or uh, mildly experienced hunters out there will know that, <laughs> that, quite, a, that quite, a, quite a few times when you take that shot, it's just... It's just turning dusk, or 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 it is dusk, huh? And uh, and by the time you get by the time you get to your animal, uh, and and have it all, uh, and and start skinning it and stuff. Sometimes it's, it's sometimes it's super dark out, and you like to have both hands free. So that's what I use, right? And it's the same thing when you're walking out with it. I like to have both hands free, and just and just wear the headlamp out. Okay, so that's why I don't pack a flashlight. 
And it's the same thing at camp too. If I'm if I'm looking for something in the dark, I want both my hands. All right. So that goes in there too. Okay. Nice and easy. All right. Ah, uh, that is it for the top for the top compartment. Geez, you know this is going to be a long video, isn't it? I'm not going to apologize in true Canadian fashion. Nope, not going to do it. In this side here, in this side pouch here, I just put a I just put a pair of uh, of shooting gloves in here. Okay, no need to uh, no need to pull them out right now. Not a big deal. Everyone's seen that stuff before. So, over in this pouch, this little side pouch here, what I do is I. I've got some 550 cord, okay, and I wrapped it in such a way, maybe I should do a video on that. I wrapped it in such a way so that I just grab one end and I can throw it and uh, and, it'll, and it'll all come it'll all come undone for me, okay, with no tangles. Okay, so that goes in there, all right, and I've also got some little pieces of rigging, okay, I've got a, I've got a tiny little single block, okay, and I got this hook right here. Okay. Um, where is it? Ah, there we go. And we've got a little double block right here. Okay. Those can uh, those can come in quite handy. Uh, generally speaking, I don't lift my deer up off. Or I I don't lift my game up off the ground to skin or gut them. I just do them right there on their back. Okay. If we get the chance this fall, I would really, really like to, uh, I'd really like to take you guys out hunting with me, and and uh, maybe we can do the, maybe we can do the shot and uh, and the skin out. Okay, that would be great if my camera skills are good enough. All right, that ends that part, little pouch. Okay, let's do that up. Now you're gonna notice. I don't tie my stuff up, but I don't do my stuff up super, super, super tight, okay? Um, that puts stresses on, it, it doesn't matter how high quality of a pack you got, that puts stresses on your stitching, on your buckles, um, all that stuff. And I have broken, I have broken a few buckles um, in my tie, even on these are burl stock uh, pack units, and these are really good. I'm really impressed with them. These little belt pouches, okay? So it's got a kidney belt on it, okay? So I've got these little belt pouches right here, and what I throw in them is I've got I've got a Silver Ranger compass, okay? This one here is in degrees. I also have one in mils. Uh, I I do like switching back and forth between the two because I like playing with the math. I like playing with the math conversions from mils to degrees and degrees to mils and and things like that, and just seeing how close I am on my uh, on my stuff. All right, nothing too nothing too uh, too fantastical. <laughs> okay, and also here's another little nav aid that I have. Um, uh, it's a it's a rangefinder. It's a little Simmons. I think this one's a Simmons. Yeah, this one's a Simmons. Little rangefinder. Um, what I found with most range finders is uh, kind of limited in use. Uh, well, I shouldn't say limited in use, but what 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 does limit their use is the reflectivity of what you are uh, <coughs> of, of 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 what you're snapping at um, when you uh, when you well, well, when you're looking at range. So what what I generally use these for, okay, is it's it's not so much for taking my shot. All right. It's more for because uh, again, then your rifle's not in your hands, right? So <laughs> it's 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 more as a nav aid, okay? Um, just just stop and think about that for a little bit. Like I, I want to know how far how far it is from here to there, <clears throat> say across a valley in a straight line, right? So bang, I take and 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 these are good for about for about six fifty seven hundred uh, yards. All right, so it's uh, you know, across depressions, or how far is it, you know, how far is it to the to the side of this lake, or or or, or whatever like that, and then that helps me with my resections, uh, you know, you know, in all this flat. Um, uh, it's not featureless country, but 
it's it's really hard to find some of the features on the map sometimes. So that help uh, that's that occasionally helps me uh, do resections. Okay, so that goes into there, and in there also I have I have some guitar string I use for snares. You can you can tell I've used it. It's all it's all bent up there <laughs> on <one> side. <laughs> And of course, some steel wire for snaring. Also, I got to get some more guitar strings. I, I I like using them; they work quite well. Yeah, I would have put <coughs> that rangefinder up top. <coughs> Pardon me. I would have put that rangefinder in up top, um, <coughs> up in the top pouch. But the the binoculars and the rangefinder together just make it too. Uh, it just gets too floppy up there, right? Where I'm walking. So what is in here? It's it's extremely simple. All I have inside inside this uh, this is an old Canadian Army uh, uh, poncho. Okay, I, I believe they had the same thing in the states. Uh, in the states also, I'm not sure. Uh, inside of this is is just simply a wool blanket. All right. So this this whole thing right here covers covers shelter. And you're and and staying warm at night. Okay, so so remember that I have I also have in here my 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 little wool my little wool hat. Okay, to keep my head warm. This poncho also has a hood on it. Okay, so it just goes right over your right over your whole body. It'll cover me and my pack. Okay, and and I can wrap up inside with my uh, I can stay warm inside with my uh, with my wool blanket and. And my wool hat under most conditions. Okay, um, I have stayed, I have stayed warm at uh, minus 15 Celsius um, in, in inside a similar system. Okay, like i.e. wool blanket and a tarp, but this is even uh, uh, this is even better than a tarp. Okay, for one thing, it's waterproof, right? Okay, so this enough yapping here. This goes up and onto here. On this little pack, so this goes up and onto this little pack, just like this. All right. I take my take the top, take my bottom. Okay, and I simply I like to make sure everything's all in there good. I just had this all apart yesterday, so it should all be good. Oh my goodness, is he going to get it? <laughs> and I just pull them together. I'm going to have to shorten it up. There, let me just pull her all together. Clip her in. It's fairly tight. There we go. Just move it around a little bit. Okay. Make sure everything's tucked nice and, nice and evenly. Because that also helps reduce stress. On your uh, on your stitching on your pack, right? And you want to keep want to be able to keep carry your stuff if you're looking at uh, post-apocalyptic survival kind of deal, right? I'm not saying that with a sneer either, because um, there is some really strange stuff happening right now. It's wow. Okay, I'll just grab it right here, crush it together a bit. There we go. There, nothing's overstressed. Nope, it's all good. All right, so there you have it. There you have it all. Okay, guys, really simple, um, very basic. Uh, I know this was just a little bit long of a video, but I thought I, I, I thought I would go through everything in a little more detail. That way, I don't have to do uh, this. Is not a gear review thing either. Um, the, the, this is just the stuff that I carry and the stuff that I found that uh, that actually works. Okay, and I've had I've had this stuff for a couple of years now. And you'll see, you'll see that it's actually in pretty good shape, even though I have used it quite a bit. When I bring it back home, I always brush it off. I take everything out, unpack it, let it all air dry, brush it again, shake the insides out, all that. Okay, okay. So you got to look after your stuff. Okay, and it'll look after you. Alrighty. So, 
once I've done the other two pack systems that I'm going to go through, um, I might even do three or f uh, three or four different pack systems altogether. Um, but what you're going to notice is that is 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 that you may you may think that I'm missing things like oh he should have water purification, he should have a fire starter kit, all that stuff in there. I'm going to show you um, why why I don't put those things in the pack. Okay. I actually carry them on my body, all right, like like in my pockets, my jacket pockets and stuff, uh, little little filter kits and all that kind of uh, you know and all and of course all my fire starter stuff, things like that, okay, belt knife, all right, so that's that guys. You have a great day. Um, don't forget to uh, don't forget to like it. Please comment. I like that. Okay, this is the only uh, this is the only social. Uh, this is almost the only socialization I get with the outside world. So it's great to talk with other people. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Okay, make sure you share it around a bit. And uh, yeah, that's it. Good night.